Hey gang, what's up? Your pal Brady from Monkey Edge and <laughs> doing what apparently is going to be our one and only Blade Show video uh, for things beyond my control like staying up too late and getting up too late and all that good stuff. But anyway, one, probably one of the biggest pieces of news out of the Blade Show, at least as far as our viewers would be concerned, is like peanut butter and chocolate, like peanut butter and jelly, like bacon and filet. Um, you, had you, know, put, you had to put bacon in there, huh? It had to put bacon, had in, to put there. bacon in there. Um, two companies that, I, I'm Mike, so two companies that we've been working with for a while is obviously Weedemann Blades, Xander Weedemann to my right here, and obviously Mr. Josh Lee of Strider Knives, um, finally after much dating, have consummated the relationship. And the big announcement out of this show is that Strider is going to start integrating the Weedemann Blades PUP which is the PALS Universal platform on the knives straight from Strider Knives. Um, so, you know, first off, why don't we go with uh, Josh here. This is Josh Lee, head of sales and marketing for Strider Knives, and kind of talk about what led to the adoption of, of the PUP as opposed to other mounting systems that you'd used in the past. Well, everyone uses Molly gear now, so everything's mollied up, and what we were existingly we were using, we couldn't configure for Molly, it was just for belt. So the great thing about this is it works good for belt, as you can see the way it's set up on here, and molly. So it's pretty much what we were looking for. Plus, because there's so many different ways of attaching something, a lot of guys want to go vertical, some guys want to go side carry or whatever, and this really adapts to it. Look yeah. Back to you. yeah. <laughs> and, you know, Andrew, you know, we've talked, we've done a video from last year about, you know, we've, I've been talking with you since you were like in your garage with a, a, a bandsaw or a hacksaw and Kydex, you know, making these. And now, you know, obviously 100% injection molded of super strong nylon right here in the U.S., assembled in the U.S. and the whole nine yards. Um, so why don't we talk about kind of what led to the, uh, the modification, the field modification of the pup to kind of uh, increase its utility for belt use here? Um, well, basically, it was originally a Molly platform, and that was it. And I thought that if I could just solve the Molly platform, that that would be all that in a bag of chips. But then it wasn't working on a belt, which was a, a problem. And with the help of yourself and some of my other clever friends, uh, we kind of figured out that if we didn't rivet it together and add some extra hardware, um, it'll not only work on a belt well, but better than most other things. And not only is it 100% made in the USA with... Um, with uh, you know something Gucci. Um, we have steel hardware now, so it's no, it's a steel screw with steel Chicago screws with slotted. Um, so now you can Loctite it and then take it apart, put it back together, take it apart, put it back together. Right. Really, as many times as you want. Um, and I was actually afraid that if we started doing the belt, that maybe it wouldn't do the Molly as well. But I was uh, happily surprised that if you take the, the the belt studs and move them into this position, it actually does the Molly even better. I'm super excited, and having Strider pick it up was the best news I got all year. I don't know. I don't know what else to say other than you know. And made in the USA is very made in the USA is very important to us also. Yeah, I mean, when I got this made and I asked for the material to be injection molded, I, I don't care about the price. I just want to make really good made in the USA stuff. Put it where it needs to be, and people have been supporting it, and that's that's what needs to happen. Well, and that's awesome, you know. You know, from a retailer's perspective, we sell obviously to knife enthusiasts as well as to guys that are that are that are using these in tools of their job, whether that be law enforcement, military, or outdoors guys. You know, and you know, other mounting platforms are fine. They're just maybe a little bit more limited in scope. It's hard from a manufacturer's perspective to, to, to be able to tell what the end user is going to wind up doing with this knife when they buy it, right? The great thing about this is is it serves a lot of roles well. It's like, hey, listen, you're you know you're doing the Molly you know run and gun thing, you know, boom, lock it down. You know, it's a r extremely rigid platform. You have you know the way these are set up, you can cant it at various angles. You know, you want to go 45 degree horizontal, et cetera, et cetera. And basically, what happened here is by by changing around some of the hardware configuration you can add these extra studs here for the various sizes of belts you know all the way from a you know a dress belt to a full-on duty belt and you have an extremely rigid belt mountable platform for your knife you know and again with the same options to be able to can't you know this particular one we have mounted basically in a, in a, in a straight vertical option but if you wanted to then cant that to where you could you know wear the knife further to the rear you know um, you know you can of course do that with the platform so it's great, you know, at, at Monkey Edge, we're all about seeing, you know, seeing guys 
innovate and, and everything else. And it's also awesome, we, you know, one of our favorite things is to see two people that we got a lot of respect for, for their capabilities and their, their ingenuity and their products get together to kind of both bring each other in kind of new directions and stuff like that. So obviously it'll be cool. Our, a lot of our customers were buying the knives, unscrewing the things and chucking them and then having to rig up something. Now they got, you know, basically right from the get go, we'll have the option to be able to um, have a very super versatile mounting platform. So I'm, I'm excited for both you guys. I'm glad uh, they finally came together. And I Not as excited as I am. <laughs> I think it'll be a win-win, and you know, for the guys that are you know using these as gear, you know, on the job, they get you know what what we three maybe we're biased, I don't know, feel is a superior mounting platform, you know. Um, so look for this to be coming. When, real, when, real, when, real quick too, you you did discuss what material you're using here, uh, so people realize. That Actually, it's, it's Dupont ST801 Super Nylon. Uh, okay. You can take a sledgehammer to it. Um, do whatever you want to it. I'm not going to say it's indestructible because everything's destructible. Everything's but destructible, words, but pretty close, man. In other words, what we have is is a non-cracking, you know, resistant to heat, extreme heat, cold, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, the reason you I know. bring that up is because most likely it's going to get knocked off in China. So when you see a China knockoff of something, realize that's not the same material, and theirs is going to break if you leave it out in the sun overnight. Yeah, if you leave out in the sun overnight, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's probably going to be made out of the substandard material, and it probably will have aluminum hardware and not steel. Yeah. And I'm just guessing about the main. I'm just guessing about the main China copy, but it seems like everything gets made in China and copied of lesser materials. All right. So when that happens, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yep. Make sure you get the real McCoy. All right, guys. Hey, listen. Apologize for uh, kind of screwing you on you on, on the blade update videos this year. Wow, well, you're well, I, am now. I know. <laughs> Um, That's what happens when we stay up for three nights. Yeah, we, we, we meant to this do a lot end, more this coverage. This is the end of the show, just to be clear. So yeah. That's why he looks like that. We were running and gunning. We have a load of cool gear coming for you guys. A um, lot of collaborations and other things in the works that we can't wait to talk about. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry to let you down on the coverage. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.